Yo. Uh, so today we got the patch notes for Forerunner. Um, first off, I'm not going to be covering the Boreas nerf. Uh, if you want to see it, Past Digius has a great video on it. He goes over everything in detail. Um, just know Boreas is getting nerfed into the ground. Um, I think it's good quality of life overall. Honestly, I know it sucks if you have him and, and you use him, but he's just too strong. Um, so first off, let's go. We got a new gear dungeon. Like this patch is gonna be like one of the biggest patches we see in a long time, I, I assume, until we get that guild boss patch. So, uh, introduce introduce gear dungeon where you have the chance to obtain four new gear sets. Um, so these are the four sets. We got two left side sets and two right side sets. It's gonna be essentially a legendary version of the crit damage set and a le legendary version of the salvation set. So we have uh the two piece set vengeance crit damage plus forty percent attack plus ten percent um and then lights grace healing effect plus thirty rage of gen plus ten percent so both these sets are gonna be stacked um salvation's all already a pretty decent set like when you get the ancients just because you usually roll rage regen on them so this one's just gonna be an even better version of that and then obviously crit damage is an amazing set and adding attack to that is huge. Um, so I think we will be seeing this become one of the most dominant sets. Um, and then for the three-piece sets, we have Hell's Limit, Lament. Uh, during the ultimate, increased damage by 30% and crit damage by 40%, lasting for five seconds. Um, so if you have one of those ults, like a Hatzit ult or something, it's going to be a great, uh, a great set for her, just because you'll get that crazy fast boost. Um, and then Tempered Will. This is going to be the tank set. Basically a legendary version of Guardian. Uh, damage reduction plus 15%. For each enemy blocked, increased defense by 5%, stacking up to 4 times. Crazy good set. Um, revamped, Unshaken Will before HP 20%. When being attacked, recovers 5% of max HP, triggers up to 1 time every 10 seconds. <laughs> After, when deployed, HP plus 20%. When being in attack, it recovers 5% of max HP. Triggers one, up to one time every 5 seconds. What changed? Oh, just the seconds. 5 seconds to 10. Eh, not, still not that good. Um, then the Boreas nerf, obviously. Like I said, if you want to see that, uh, Fastidious did a video on that. Go check that out. Um, arena. Finally have some good arena changes coming. Commanders can now build their defense teams in the arena via arena defense team. Commanders can now build their team for anti-air challenge, AOE DPS, and single target DPS in training stages. You can challenge these stages as many times as possible if you want for practice, and update the battle record when finished. So essentially we could finally end up making one good defense team and keep it there. Um, you don't have to rely on your last uh, fight that you did anymore, so that's huge. Um, I think that's going to be a great quality of life overall, just for not having to go back in and make sure your last fight was a very good defense round. Um, commanders can now choose to update their auto fight offense teams and defense teams while engaging in attacks or defenses. So that's also another huge one. If you need to adjust the timings at all or um, say you face some fast team that most teams are running, you could kind of base it off that one. I don't know. I like this though. And then the final one is fix the issue. With the enemy targeting logic of Demon Soldier, Merkling Menace. Um, don't know exactly what that was, but got to change for that. But yeah, that, huge patch notes. New dungeon. Um, tomorrow I'll have a video on the new dungeon. Um, yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. I think it's a great patch overall. And yeah, see you in the next video.